pandemonia. I have a pain in me hole with this bloody pandemic. All attempts at distraction, interaction and competent action are well and truly gone. I'm tired and I am pure worn out. We've been wading our way through the murky seas of lockdowns for what feels like years. This pandemic has had more waves than feminism. And I'm drowning, drowning in attempts to forget all that I am missing every single day. Floating away from all my hopes and aspirations and plans made, made before this limited existence. I live in a shell of what my life once was, trapped between walls, caught in fear and anxiety. Cut off from friends, crowds, gigs, shows, experiences. Wandering into an open mic, discovering new acts, new performers, new anything. I teeter on the edge of losing my mind entirely, shrinking away from light, trying to not give in to hope as hope gets shattered in level five life. I've tried baking, crafting, daytime drinking. I've tick-tock to within an inch of my life. And still I can't quite shake off the weight of disappointment, the weight of loss. I am grieving. Grieving for those who have lost their fight against COVID. Grieving for those who've lost their lives during lockdown. Grieving through heartbreaking funerals with limited numbers and limited comfort. Grief. Then shame. Shame bears down upon me, attempting to smother me. And I pause. I check myself. Check my privilege. I'm not homeless. Not destitute. I'm not deciding between paying for light or food, not afraid to put on the heating, not sitting in darkness, not in hospital, not putting my life at risk every day, not alone, not in fear of assault within my home, not dead. So I check myself. This too shall pass.